Pelosi experiences spasmodic brain shutdown on camera. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi's news conferences are a lot like the movie Roadhouse. Both produce a lot of laughs. Neither do so intentionally. Whether it's confusion, discombobulation, weird facial tics or the inability to remember simple things, it's obvious that the former House Speaker has become an object lesson in diminishing returns. And the American Mirror has become particularly adept at capturing these moments on video. In the Mirror's latest compilation of Pelosi-related hilarity, taken from a Thursday news conference, she seems to stumble through the proceedings with all the adeptness of someone who probably should have taken it easy on the Prino last night. What an event-filled morning has been, Nancy began. No, it wasn't us that missed the word there. Really, one that marks that marks a transform of, transformative moment, Pelosi continued, enunciating the words she originally messed up like a pulled over driver who is trying to emphasize that he is taught Al lie sober, off I sir. Then, like that Powerball meme from a few years back, she seemed to confuse the concepts of trillion and billion. When President Bush left office the deficit was 1.4 trillion, she said, seeming to suffer a bit of a spasm and blanking before continuing, uh, trillion dollars. So you're talking about an enormous amount of money. The national debt increased by an enormous amount, the debt was 1.4 billion in terms of the deficit. She also called a pie chart a pie crust and struggled with the word declaring. There were more than a few statements where she cut herself off. Education being essential. Education, by the way, being any money being spent on education that was certainly one of the weirdest. Now, it's worth pointing out here that Nancy Pelosi has never disclosed any health-related issues to America and no rumors have been floating around. If so, we would certainly hate to be nasty. But we would also point out that's something American voters and the Democrat caucus ought to know about. As it is, they already know she's mentally declined to the point where news conferences such as this one are not uncommon. Then again, she didn't have far to go in this department. This is a woman who's awkward, supercilious quote about Affordable Care Act, we have to pass the bill so that you can find out what is in it, away from the fog of the controversy became a kind of synecdoche for the entire Obamacare experience. Pelosi already faced questions from her own party about whether she should remain as minority leader after last year's electoral debacle. She managed to overcome those doubts, but in June, she faced another round of questions about her ability to lead from a small group of House Democrats who felt that several special election losses, including the John Ossoff debacle, proved she wasn't going to be getting them to the promised land anytime soon. We need leadership change, New York Democrat Rep. Kathleen Rice told CNN back in June, just days after Ossoff lost a race he was widely expected to win and which liberals poured Brobdingnagian amounts of money into. It's time for Nancy Pelosi to go, and the entire leadership team. But, that's the thing. Pelosi has always surrounded herself with an entourage of like-minded individuals in leadership who are absolutely dedicated to this confused, bumbling, out-of-touch San Francisco Democrat. It's bad enough that her values are so out of sync with America. She's now coming across as someone who is mentally out of sync with reality. On the other hand, conservatives should love this stuff, the way fans of bad movies love Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. Never change. Nancy. That way, we can ensure that control of the lower chamber of Congress never changes as well, is as well.